Hello everyone, Zoomicraft here, and welcome back to Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. Wii. We had almost completed World 6 last episode, but uh, random airship showed up out of nowhere, so we've gotta clean this up before we can continue on with our wonderful lives. That's, yeah, that's gonna be an ice flower, I'm not interested. And yeah, I know ice flowers a lot better for dealing with these guys than fire, but... I think fire has just more general utility, so I'd rather keep fire around since it's better for uh, future challenges that we uh, very well may face. <sighs> he said and then almost got hit by a wrench, which would have made uh, keeping fire uh, quite difficult. But uh, we're doing fine, we're just enjoying our wonderful life here in the auto-scrolled world. I'll be honest, that uh, spin move there, that was not intentional in the slightest, that was just uh, me accidentally shaking the controller. So uh, yeah, sometimes it works out in your favor. And aren't we all overjoyed when it does, truly. Alrighty, we're in the pipe, in the pipeline, ready to uh, produce some uh, success. And you know what, now that I'm at this part of the level, I do kind of remember it. Somewhat fondly, at least. And I'm getting the impression, I feel like this might have just been for the star coin. Not sure about that, though. Uh, yeah, seems like it. Okay, well, we got a star coin. Uh, like I've said many a time before, I'm not trying to get star coins, but I'm not trying to not get star coins either. So... Yeah, this isn't the no star coins challenge. That would be, uh... Honestly, that probably wouldn't be very interesting. I mean, I haven't personally tried it, so for all I know, maybe it's the, the biggest, the greatest challenge in all of gaming, but... Eh, seems unlikely to me, at least. I'm feeling like my Wii Remote is pretty sensitive today. Whoa! Okay, so that's jump there. Jumping onto the uh, Mecha Koopa. I was, I was gonna say, I thought it would be a trickier jump. And I guess, well, we didn't directly die due to it. Things have certainly gone downhill since then, so there's that. And now we're small. I would very much like some sort of power-up before... Okay, well, of all the power-ups, that's probably the one I least wanted before the boss fight. Alright, let's see... This will be... Inter- okay, okay, so it's, uh, bumper cars. Kind of. It's like, uh, that, uh, top man, uh, boss fight, I guess. Kind of, somewhat. There we go. See, no problem. No problem once again. Alright, can this guy even hurt me? I doubt it. No! Oh, okay! <sighs> Why do I say things like that? Uh, I mean, I overcommitted to uh, an attack which left me in a vulnerable vulnerable position, and after he parried, he uh, took advantage. There's, there's not much else to say other than that. I mean, I could say that it was, of course, an obvious gross uh, misjudgment on my part, which is true, but... Uh, Figured that was already pretty self-evident. We didn't even get the coins that time. That's... Uh, it's not what you want to see, quite frankly. Uh, and even if I was being a bit dishonest, I might be tempted to say that that's not what you want to see, just uh, to retain some amount of credibility. Uh, we should get this guy. 
But yeah, we didn't need wrenches coming from all directions. Alright. Oh, that guy. Okay! I thought for sure that wrench was gonna get us. Which was not a, a pleasant thought. In the slightest. And have you ever been whacked by a wrench? Me neither, but... I mean... I can't imagine what circumstance would uh, cause it to be a positive thing. And I mean, I guess we'll get the one up, because why not? Maybe there's something above it. Nope, okay. Well, at the very least, we can take a single hit. Not that that'll be necessary, but uh, it's an option available to us. It would be foolish to state otherwise, because that's just a fact of the world at the moment, is I can take two hits, well, a second hit would murder me, so I can take one hit with relatively limited consequences here. That's uh, that's where we stand at present. Oh, there we go. See? Okay, don't let yourself become too open. Like that, I... Alright, circle around there. Okay. Luckily, we weren't punished too hard for that whiff. Alright, we keep whiffing pretty bad here, but, uh... Luckily, again, he's not punishing us too hard for it. And there's probably more whiffs going on here than the uh, annual uh, smell convention. Okay. See? Alright, there we go. I was gonna say. Fights like this. I wish it was a button, but we, we prevailed. So, he points sideways, but then the floor underneath me falls, and I just don't see the, uh, like, the line of correlation between those actions. Seems kind of random. I don't know. Maybe I'm off base. Can we all agree that uh, Ludwig has the best voice of all the Koopas? Koopalings, rather. Although, I mean, you know what, I I'll retract it. I'm pretty sure he's probably got a better voice than all the just regular Koopas as well. Because what do they do? They do like, or whatever, whenever they have like the talk thing. I I'm not an expert in uh, Koopa languages, but th that's what I've heard. Now, who knows, maybe I'm just not very like accustomed to their you know, speech patterns and stuff, so it all sounds like, gibberish to me whenever I hear it, but... I'll say, they don't sound very eloquent whenever they're given, uh, voice. Except for Ludwig, of course. As we've been, uh, going over. Anyways, luckily we've got the best Mario power-up, or at the very least one of the oldest ones, the Fire Flower. Tried and true. Good for, uh, dispatching the Piranha plants. And, I mean, you gotta love it for that. And any power-up that is capable of one-shotting a, uh, very noteworthy uh, Super Smash Brother. That's uh, something to uh, not to sneeze at. Yeah, and uh, therefore a loss of it is, of course, a great misfortune and loss that uh, is really going to be uh, regretted quite a bit. I guarantee. Okay, can I get anything from these, or are they just they're just coins? Okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with monetary rewards, but. Uh, they don't make you stronger. Hmm. I was trying to wall jump off, and... Uh, I mean, it's completely my fault for misjudging the angle of the wall, but it was kind of at that weird angle where it's too sharp to walk up, but not quite short enough, sharp enough to uh, cling to and wall jump off of, so... Yeah. I don't think you could have had worse timing. Like... Yeah. We're back. 7-1. I felt like I was doing pretty good last recording session, and I feel like I'm disappointing you all now, so... I, I really want to make it up and actually play the game with some degree of competency. So let's hope that happens. 
best way to do that? I don't know. And if I did know, then uh, we wouldn't be asking the question now, would we? See, I thought I was going to do something cool there and like, slide off and use the momentum to launch me onto the next platform. Misjudge the jump. Ah. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I think we're entering the point now where if I die again, then it starts becoming just a bit of a ridiculous joke at that point. <sighs> yeah, I've never really been too aware of that, uh, that what, we'll, we'll call it the devil's angle, alright? Uh, that uh, angle that's, uh, I mean, as we've uh, discussed at great length already this episode, between a uh, just straight wall that you can uh, wall jump off of and a slope that you can actually walk on. Uh, we're gonna call that the Devil's Angle because if you get caught on that, you're uh, you're dead. I guess if we want to make the uh, like d s s see, there's that angle again. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I think at this point, uh, the time is, has come upon us to uh, stop complaining about the Devil's Angle and just deal with it and not die again. Because, uh, yeah, uh, honestly, it's getting to the point of embarrassment at this point. To, to be defeated, really not even primarily by, uh, like, enemies or anything. Or even, like, jumps per se, but just level geometry. Like, that's, that's not how you want to go. And granted, you don't want to go at all, but... And if you had to, just wonky geometry is probably the, the, the last way you'd want to go. Now, who knows, maybe I'm off base with the, the feelings of the general populace there, but I don't think I'm too far off. If this is the exit, I will be... I guess happy that the level's over, but very, like, yeah, okay, this is the secret, not the secret, it's just the normal flagpole. Um, I don't know. It's almost more disappointing to have died repeatedly so close to the end of the level. Yeah. Than if it was, like, not. Regardless, though, we're gonna be moving on. I believe this one, is this the one with, like, chain chomps, maybe? Seems like it. Yeah, I'd say it's probably the one with chain jumps. Just based on what I'm seeing right here. Oh, and also it's got bubbles. Sweet. Two elements married together in great harmony in this one stage. I mean, what, what could go wrong? Oh, do we get bullets? Oh, just so much fun stuff going on here. It's almost as if it's like a, a video game or something. Now, I believe, as we learned in the uh, World 4 Castle a little while back, you can't jump on things in water, so we're not going to jump on that bullet while it's in water. How about that? That's some uh, new strategies I've been working on. I call it not killing yourself with bullets in water. And I think it'll uh, catch on someday. Okay, I thought they would recoil quicker. Turns out I was just wrong there. Uh, and, uh, I regret everything. Every decision that, uh, led to that point of me uh, taking unnecessary damage from a, uh, chain chomp. Granted, I think these games are usually designed in such a way that there is no such thing as necessary damage, so... I mean, really, do I need to specify it was unnecessary damage? I, probably not, but... I feel like it really hits home and hammers home just how, uh, how disappointed I am at myself for uh, taking said damage. Yeah, I don't really want to be here. C c can I just leave? Please? Like, okay, fine, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll get the coin, or at least go through this area, but it, it, just on the record, I'd like it to be known that it is under duress. That I am uh, doing these actions. I mean, at least, I was going to say, at least we get, like, a power-up or something out of it, but uh, that was just a single coin. Alright, we got we got to see a one-up uh, careen off the uh, edge of a cliff. 
And that's something, that's a spectacle, certainly. Not one I was particularly happy to witness, but... It happened. And, uh, I mean, I don't think anyone's arguing that, so... Not really anything that needs to be stated with regards to that, but, you know. I I've got time to fill, dead air, that needs to uh, be brought to life, much like uh, Frankenstein's monster. Huh, okay. Alright, on the whole, that went alright. I mean, we just had that one instance of kind of stupid damage and a detour that uh, really didn't need to happen, but... Overall, we made it through. Not really too much to complain about. We'll be going to 7-3. I'm going to guess mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms, okay. Ooh! Alright, I now I need the propeller. Although, and like I've said prior, or at least I've said similar things, probably not this exact thing. I know I've said this in like Kirby videos or something in the past. But uh, the game's designed in such a way that, uh, or maybe I haven't. Anyways, generally speaking, these games are designed in such a way that you don't ever need the power-up, so to ever state that the power-up is necessary is a bit of a falsehood, at the very least. So, I should probably avoid lying to the people and ever claiming that I need a power-up, because I don't. I can manage without one, but I, I, I'd also be lying if I said that it wasn't considerably nicer to have one than not. Which I think is more along the lines of the sentiment I'm seeking to convey when I say I need a power-up. Not the literal need, the, uh, I don't know. Not even sure what the term would be. Not semantic need, but, like, the emotional need? No, I don't emotionally need a power-up. I'm not gonna break down or anything if I don't get a propeller mushroom. I mean, quite frankly, if that's where your life is at, uh, I, I don't know, get some help. Like, don't let Mario power-ups, uh, have such control over your life. <laughs> there, there's way more important things in this world to, uh, stress over than, uh, Mario power-ups. I mean, arguably, you really shouldn't stress over too much. That's not exactly the funnest or even necessarily most healthy way to live. But, like, I mean, if you're gonna stress over something, probably at least make it something that you can A, control, and B, actually has, like, uh, Important bearing on your life. <sighs> but what do I know? I don't, I'm not a psychologist or psychiatrist or whatever the proper term is. I'm just a random person on the internet spouting off into a microphone and hoping that people will listen. And not really listen in the sense of like, do what I'm saying, but listen in the sense of like, just listen to me ramble for 30 minutes at a time because it's uh, financially beneficial to me. <laughs> and also, I like making the YouTube videos. I mean, this isn't a industry you get into if you don't at least enjoy it on some level. I think. I don't know, maybe the rules on that have changed uh, since I got involved, but uh, at the very least, I am involved because I legitimately like making the videos. Uh, yeah. Yep. New Super Mario Bros. Wii has some instances of very, like, densely populated bolt areas. Which I, I appreciate. It's a nice little, uh, type of challenge. I, I, like I said, nothing really to complain about with regards to the bullets. I was just noting their existence. Because it's fun! To recognize that something exists. Blah. Okay. Anyone else ever, like, I don't know, confused or at the very least maybe just kind of curious about the science of, like, he jumps on a bullet, Mario, and that just takes it out of the air. Like, like that, that shouldn't work, should it? Yeah, maybe get this guy off. Okay. Okay, the idea where there was I was gonna throw him into the other bomb. Uh, in practice, that uh, didn't happen. 
I, I wonder if I could just, like... I bet I could just helicopter out of here without even needing this uh, platform. Since there's so many, like, platforms around. You know, these moving things, the, like, bomb cannons. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this should be no problem. And we don't have to deal with, uh, murdering a bunch of bombs on our... Okay, well. I guess, uh... Well, why was I there? <sighs> okay, so clearly something went wrong somewhere. At some point. To, uh, cause this, uh... Uh, we'll just say, uh, difficult circumstance we find ourselves in. Okay. Or death, we could call it that as well. I mean, no need for, uh... I was gonna say innuendo, but that's not the word. The word is... Okay, I don't know why it's not coming to me, but rest assured, I do know of what I speak. Uh, yeah, occasionally I speak of ninja bombs like I do in this case. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Let's let's do this. Alrighty. So, everything's gonna go fine and smoothly, and the bombs are not going to murder us. I mean, technically. We can, like, steer this platform, so, you know, we could, like, steer it away from the bo bomb cannons if we were, uh, you know, thinking about it for half a second. Uh, what we also can do is get ourselves a mushroom, jump on bo bombs and use them to hit other bo bombs and uh, just have a grand old time. And at the very least, this isn't one of those, like, elevators, like, uh, appear in new Super Mario Bros. U that, uh, like, uh, stop when a certain number of things land on them. Uh, and that would have been a bit annoying. But that is, of course, not the uh, circumstance we find ourselves under. And to think, we got so close with the uh, propeller suit and then messed it up in, like, the last possible area. Regardless, though, I'm sure everything will be fine here in the uh, tower. We've got some uh, good boss fighting to do. Okay, so he does Yoshi jumps. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, dude, it's getting old. He also has a homing uh, attack, which is... I'm not gonna lie, that's a bit annoying. Oh, wow. He's got a second homing attack out now. That's also annoying. Uh, yeah. Not gonna lie. Okay, so here comes the Yoshi flutters. Oh, he's down, and he's jumped on, and we've won. Okay, there we go. Not bad. Okay, wow. Find that something. Looks like next up we've got a ghost house. Which, uh, we'll be playing. And actually we'll play it in, in the next episode. Uh, I know we don't normally end necessarily on the uh, midway towers, but... Th these few levels took a lot longer than they really should have, so until next time, I've been Supercraft, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.